Good evening, comrades. Now we can give us back. Hope everyone's having a wonderful 2018 so far. I can't believe it's 2018 already. And definitely starting off really strong, because you, obviously you can see I finally have a solid state drive. Now, well, technically, I already have a solid state drive. It's my M.2 drive my 950 Evo, but that's mainly a boot drive for programs and stuff. Now I have an actual VNAND SSD, the famous Samsung 850 Evo 1 terabyte variant, because you never have too much storage for your computer. But yeah, I know the 500 gigabyte variant is the most popular one, but as I kept saying in Brutal Russian Overkill, this is mainly for three of my most played games, and they're among my, the largest games in my library. Gary's Mod, Skyrim and Fallout 4. Now, the all those games run pretty good on my computer already, but they take quite a long time to load, as you'll see with the uh, game footage that I'm going to show here in a minute. But yeah, I actually uh, just got this today because it was supposed to come yesterday, but uh, it didn't show up in time. But that's more of a fault of the post office, not Amazon. So, oh well, better late than never. But yeah. I've been saving up for quite a while for this. Well, of course, from buying hot sauce and other, you know, doodads and stuff. I got a lot of Christmas money, and I saved that up. Had a little money in my Amazon account, and got myself a good old SSD. Now, as I mentioned before, I already have an SSD in my hard uh, Proteus. It's the uh, Samsung 960 Evo M.2. It's a 256 gigabyte. Um, M.2 drive. I mainly use it as a boot drive, and I, I just love that. I just love it. You know, F my old Cybertron PC, it took like 10, 15 seconds to get from login to desktop, but with this M.2 drive in here, it just loads up just like that. And I never thought I'd love solid state drives, but here I am. But yeah, I mainly use the M.2 drive for the OS, of course. Uh, Pretty much all my programs, antivirus, web browser, and of course Steam. I recently moved Steam on there. And I hadn't come across any freezes, actually, so I'm actually surprised. But anyway, the main focus is for this. Glad I finally got an SSD. And yeah, I'm going to show some uh, comparison uh, video, comparison clips between three games. Fallout 4, Gary's Mod, Skyrim, in order, of course. And uh, yeah, the first clip's going to be with, on the regular hard drive. Those were recorded beforehand. And the second one, of course, will be the solid state drive. And of course, I'll be timing. It's mainly the loading screens. But uh, yeah, just how long it takes to start the game and load up a save. Let's just say that. So, anyway, here's the gameplay footage. Alright, comrades, so here I'm testing out Fallout 4. This is on the hard drive. This is just to compare the speeds between the hard drive and the solid state drive. You pretty much already know the. It's no contest, solid state drive wins, but I'm just going to show you with mods how long it takes for my Fallout 4 game to load. So I'm going to click on that and start the timer. See, so yeah, I mainly use armor and weapon mods for Fallout 4, but uh, I also uh, use an EMB. Uh, the, I believe it's a decent EMB that I'm using. A little more performance friendly than others, you know, until I get a 1060 or something like that. My 960s is going to have to deal with the DC and ENB. Yeah, despite the speed, this, this game still runs a lot better than my old Cybertron PC, I will say that. So right now we're at 35 seconds. Yep. Still waiting. Yeah, also download a mod that gets rid of the uh, text on the loading screen. And also some of the pictures, but only the... Only mods where the weapon will show on there regardless. They're not affected by the mod. Okay. There we go. It took a minute and five seconds to load this save. On a three terabyte Seagate hard drive. I forgot the speed of it. I don't. I, I don't think it's 7,200 RPM. I forgot the speed, but yeah, it's an old. It's. I've had a hard drive for a while, so I can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, I've only had it for like a year, but yeah, I stole a lot of games on it. 
So anyway, the next clip will be the uh, Fallout 4 on the Solid State Drive. Alright, now is Fallout 4 with a Solid State Drive. Uh, I noticed that the boot time is a little faster than the old hard drive, but let's see how long it takes for it to load. Okay, so we can start. Okay. Start of the timer at five seconds. And there we go, 15 seconds. Wow. I'm actually impressed. Of course, I had no doubts that it could uh, load that fast. So, what was the first time? A minute? So, yeah, this was 75% faster. I am, I am impressed. And, uh, might as well show off real quick. Yes, that is an AK-5C with a freakishly long mag. <laughs> Trust me, this one is even crazier than that. But anyway, that's not the point of this. Yeah. Notice I'm at uh, 40 frames in a pretty, uh... Not exactly CPU heavy area of Fallout 4, but yeah. I mainly did this to uh, show you just how fast it loads. And I noticed it doesn't drop in frames very often, very much. So yeah. Even though it's a little around 40 frames, it's actually a little smoother that on the uh, hard drive. So anyway, that's it for uh, Fallout 4. Now let's ch check out Gary's mod. Alright, so here we are with Gary's mod. So uh, I, d I recorded a clip earlier, but uh, a lot of the audio cut off when I was, you know, loading up the assets and stuff on the loading screen. So I will still be uh, timing the uh, loading screen so you know how long it takes for me to load. And keep in mind, I have hundreds of mods for Gary's mod. You know, I have a lot on the from the workshop, but I also have a bunch from Face Punch, Gary's Mod, .org, and a few other sites out there. So anyway, I'm not going to speak during the loading screen, because again, the audio cut off when I was speaking during the loading screen in the previous clip that I tried to do. So yeah, of course, if you play Gary's Mod at least once, you got to play GM Construct. That's usually the first map you'll play on Gary's Mod. So... Again, I would cut off when I talk during the loading screen, so I'm just going to let it load. And I'll, I'll still keep the time, though. So, starting now. Okay, now that everything's stabilized, I count exactly one minute. Yes, from main menu to construct. It took a minute to load. Now, granted, when I first did it, it took a little longer because I was actually loading some of the assets. So, you know, take that for a like minute, minute, 30 seconds around that range. Say how long that it takes to load GM construct with hundreds and hundreds of mods on a 3 terabyte hard drive. So, next clip. Solid State Drive. Alright, and now for Gary's mod on the Solid State Drive. Now, uh, I do have something to mention. Um, I had a few uh, issues uh, starting up Gary's mod initially, so I had to reinstall Gary's mod and uh, get rid of a few add-ons. I don't use that much, so that might contribute to the faster load time. But um, after a few runs, it booted up. It boots up a little, a lot faster, even with all the add-ons that I have. But uh, let's see how long it takes for it to load GM Construct. So, I'm going to start it. Starting timer now. A minute to load up GM Construct. With, keep in mind, I do have a lot of add ons and mods and stuff. Drive. On the solid state drive. Okay. 40 seconds, so not too much of a uh, speed increase, just like Scott, uh, the next game that I tested. But um, you know what? It's still a, it's still acceptable for me. And keep in mind, I do have a lot of mods. If you don't have that many mods, and chances are, it'll load a lot faster for you. But I use a lot of mods for this game, so yeah, take that for what you will. Okay, now for the final game on the test. 
And now we are doing Skyrim, the original version, not the special edition. I'm gonna stick with the regular version of Skyrim, simply because there's way more mods for it. But anyway, I have a lot of mods for it, texture mods, armor mods, weapon mods, and of course a few uh, other fancy stuff like an EMB, I use a real like EMB, I used to use Seasons of Skyrim, now I'm using real like, and also using a Dynavision, a depth of field mod. Yeah, let's go and load it up. Let's go and start the timer so you know how long it loads. That's the main point of these uh <laughs> these clips, not to show off what mods I use, but uh, how long it takes for the three, my three biggest games to load up. Keep in mind, I have, do have a lot of mods, so if you don't have too many mods, then chances are a little faster. But come on, if you're, if you're playing Skyrim PC and you're not using mods, you're insane. Especially since some of the mods actually help the game, like get rid of bugs, you know, make it look better, stuff like that. You just got to do different font, do different loading screens, all the good stuff. I mean, it looks nothing like the console versions, does it? Okay. And stopping. Now that took 43 seconds to load, so don't have a long time. And here's my main girl herself. My main girl. Selena Ravenheart. What a beauty is she? Anyway, that's not the point of this video. It, it does run good, yeah. Yes. After all, you know, it relies more on the CPU and GPU than you know, hard the storage device. But yeah, see how nice it looks. But yeah, it took 43 seconds to load on a regular hard drive. Now the next clip would be the solid state drive. And now we are back with Skyrim on the solid state drive. We're all the same save. And I forgot to mention in Fallout 4, those are on high settings. Because, uh, you know, I only have a 96, I don't have a 1080 or anything like that, so... I could technically play on Ultra, but the uh, frame rate will suffer. But uh, Skyrim, I do play on Ultra since it's an older game. So anyway, start the timer. So with the hard drive, it was 43 seconds on the solid state drive. Well, still counting. Okay, 25 seconds. Now, apparently, um. I had to adjust something with the Skyrim prefs, uh... Oh, but, uh... Yeah. It took 25 seconds to load, so... Not a huge increase, but hey... Every little bit helps. But yeah, I need to fix up some of my Skyrim prefs, because I... Of course, moving stuff to a... New storage device, you can expect a few minor problems here and there. But that's not the point of this video, so yeah. 25 seconds on the solid state drive as opposed to 43 seconds on the hard drive. So yeah, that's definitely an improvement if you ask me. And that does it for this. And there you have it, comrades. My new Samsung 850 EVO 1TB solid state drive. Now, there was one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video. Um, For some reason, I have a lot of uh, SATA ports in my motherboard. One of them is reserved for the OS, but since I had the M.2 drive as that, I'm pretty sure that one's no good. But I do have uh, three extra... Say words, there are actually a few other ones, but I try those and... They don't really recognize uh, storage devices for some reason. But anyway, um, I still have two hard drives in the computer, but I'm actually only using one of them, my Seagate one. I'll pretty much keep the Western Digital one in there as a backup, you know, just in case, you know, the Seagate one eventually craps out. I'll have a backup one. And of course, if both of them die, I can always go on Amazon and get a much larger and hopefully faster um, hard drive. But of course, um, 10 terabyte hard drives aren't exactly cheap. Heck, this this is cheaper than a 10 terabyte hard drive, I can tell you that. But anyway, yeah, I am blown away by this thing. I can't, my only regret is that I didn't get a solid state drive a lot sooner. My nephew, he's been using a solid state for, granted it's only 500 gigabytes, but he uses that as a boot drive. Me, I'm using an M.2 drive as my boot drive, and I've never been happier. And now, I'm even more so, now that I have this, to finally run my three 
biggest games. And I can play Fallout 4 a lot more regularly now, because as you sh as you saw in the um, comparison videos, on my old hard drive, Fallout 4 took well over a minute to load up a save outside. Especially when you're indoors, it's a lot less, but, you know, let's face it. You're going to be playing Fallout 4 a lot more outdoors than indoors. But anyway, yeah, it took a minute and five seconds to load on the hard drive. Whereas here, it was a quarter of the time. Give or take a few seconds, but yeah. That's the power. And of course, Skyrim, you know, not too much of an improvement on uh, load times, but it's still noticeable, so there you go. But anyway, yeah. This is it, comrades. My greatest upgrade yet. Well, at least until I upgrade the uh, graphics card, but that, that's for another time. I'm keeping an eye on those 1060s. I'm telling you right now. But anyway, this is Unforgiven Caleb, signing out.